Hey guys, how you doing? We're here with Vlad Kulikov at the Tri-Tac, uh, Sean Douglas Tri-Tac Jiu-Jitsu School. And we're doing an awesome new series new for- New Milford, Connecticut. Milf, new Mil <laughs> sorry, New Milford, Connecticut. Thank you. Uh, we're working on an awesome new series with Vlad and some others called Ultra Grappling Pack. And Vlad's shown us some awesome uh, no-gi throws, sambo throws, judo throws, however you want to apply them off. And we started off with that, uh, that grip called the- uh, Pinch headlock. Pinch headlock grip. And uh, well, just, just throw it up really quick on, on Sean and how you're getting into it. And uh, you know, I showed this control, but it could, could also could be this way. And this grip is also universal because sometimes I can sell him right into Ippon. Yeah, way. I like it. Yeah, I like it this way. And underhook is a little bit uh, faster, accessible versus from here, but it's not a big deal. So either here or here, pull on the head as I'm stepping back with my left leg, oh, and launching with my right, just like this. He's on one leg. Kazushi is applied. Grip applied. Pull in one shot, and then I'm ready to go, depending on the reaction and the foot pattern. I will throw him in any direction. Cool. Um, I wanted to know, how, what are other, can you ever set up with the under, so you're like in a pummel? Uh, absolutely, pummel. absolutely. How are, you, are there other ways you're setting it up? Uh, you know, maybe you got the underhook first. Yes. Where are you, yes. you playing yeah, with? Yeah, of course, of course. If I had the underhook here right there, right, I'm going to pull him oh, and immediately oh, okay. throw the headlock on. Many ways, it's just the one I prefer. And sometimes, like I said, you can just jam it in. You were just wrestling, and maybe he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh. And that's right here. Slip right just that. make yeah, sure yeah. to start moving right away. Remember, clinch can go either way. Yeah, that footwork, that was really nice. So like you're coming across, and you said earlier we were doing it, it's like that diagonal footwork. Diagonal. It's, it's like you're like drawing draw lines across cut, the body. Cut, cut the angle, but then he had that structure, that pinching. Like, we could just set up again. I like, well, I want to point out what I, th I thought was cool. Uh, just, when you have that, this, this footwork right there, like that—that I mean, that, that structure is so cool, and he just looks like he's just buried. Yes. And what would you say? P -p pulling the tick's head off the body? Yes, if you, you know, like if, if you have a tick, you, you can only pull it by his head. So same thing here. If you control the head, and remember, two-dimensional squeeze stronger than mother's love. I want to pinch his cheek to my chest, and I want to pinch my uh, elbows together like this. And now, if I twist, even if I'm sloppy, even if I just twist him without any velocity, I can actually rest him down in any direction. Like a sag takedown. Like, yeah, like yeah. a little second hip push. Yeah, 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 exactly, guys. Right? Sometimes if you can get the hips across, all I do is like okay, me slide down, whoop, and and twist the guy. Oh, that's nice too. And uh, the reason why I like this one as well, because often if you roll somebody of the hip, you create this rotational momentum, and there is a chance of being rolled over. However, with a second hip toss, I go directly down without creating any uh, rotational momentum. Yeah. It's a barrier. Yes, yeah, so boom, just stick out, hook in it, and just pop, like you hit nail. There is none of this going on anymore. That's great for like, you know, feet sauce or self-defense, just getting a hold of someone. There's not a lot of like, high-level technique to that, just kind of sit to that hip. As you know, since you wrestle, head goes, body falls. Body falls. So, all right, guys, I'm going to show you a quick review of what we're working on with Vlad on the alternate grappling pack. I'm going to go through some uh, quick takedowns of some of the submission series. I want to do a ton of videos of Vlad, a ton of videos of other people. Uh, so when you get a chance, please go to alternategrapplingpack.com or soulfightersacademy.com to check it out. It will be released very soon. Uh, but check out the preview of what we're doing with Vlad, and we'll see you soon. Peace. Thank you. To, to the people out there, um, we've been doing martial arts for a very long time, and, and I know Sean has as well. And I've been around some you know, high quality martial arts, I believe. And uh, recently, just met not you know, I've known you for a while, but met you recently, and just extremely impressed by the the, the quality of information, his technical ability, uh, and his, his nature as well. So, uh, 
Guys, please, if you get a chance, find him anywhere on, on Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, where, where are you teaching right now? I teach at uh, uh, Brewster, uh, World's Gym, uh, Soul Fighter. Soul Fighters again. Brewster, yep. I teach at another Soul Fighters uh, affiliation with Mike Palladino, EGA, and I teach uh, in another yet gym in South New York, which is a predominantly kickboxing gym. I teach uh, Nogi there. As well. Yeah, so if you guys are uh, follow Soul Fighters Academy, if you go to soulfightersacademy.com, you'll see uh, all we're putting all the big a lot of information about Vlad, uh, where his schools are, how to contact him, how to get private lessons with him, training, all his videos. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff that we're doing with Vlad because, like I said, as as lifelong dedicated martial artists, uh, I cannot say enough. Thank you awesome, very much awesome for the things. Yes, and uh, yeah, it's plenty of your company is mutual. Guys, also check out sambofusion.com.